Welcome back to Game Days. We're taking another look at uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Gail's going to be playing. She wanted to show you off some of the pre-order bonuses that we're allowed to show in the beta now. The biggest one here, actually the only one you can see right now, is the Imperial Race. Which is only available in the pre-order, I believe. Only in the pre-order. But the Imperials get to be a part of any alliance. So, um, whereas the other races are tied to a specific alliance, Imperials can just join whoever they want. Yeah. Because they are mercenaries. Everywhere. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go with the Sorcerer build this time, so a little bit less of a yep. melee focus. Alright, go ahead. Jump in. Uh, do you want to just have me... Jump, yeah. Just jump in. And do the whole, jump, the yeah, whole yeah. intro stuff? Yes. Too? Okay. We lost most of that. <sighs> oh. <laughs> I already have a character by that name, so I'm going to have to add a surname. It actually registers every single name currently on the servers. Okay. So you have to come up with your own specific name. So in my case, I've got characters that could technically be related because of the way I've done their names. True. They, they have the same last name. Yeah. <laughs> and they all help people. Uh, yeah, that was really fun. No, tell about it. Maybe. Okay, so I've been doing a few times... <laughs> Zoom into my favorite view. Okay. So what I've been doing for a bit is just running around helping people. Or I'll go to an area where there will be lower level people than me. And I'll just ask if anybody needs help. And if they need help, I jump in and help. And if nobody needs my help, I just run around gathering materials until somebody on the chat says that they need a bunch of materials, and then I'll sell it to them really, really cheap. Pretty much just as a boost to anybody playing so they can actually move along faster. Alright. Um, did this crash if we wanted to open the menu? Yes. Darn it. Why? Um, I need to switch uh, E and shift, or E and space. Uh, we'll do that for the next video. Look at those people being vaporized or something. Yeah. They had stuffy I noses. I do like the fact that... So I went and I played a little bit of Morrowind earlier this week. I almost have to maybe do auto. You can pick up a sword. Get me. You can get a sword this early in the game. This is different. Interesting. This is different than last time I play. Let's put it that way. The last time I was in this section was a while ago. Oh, well, you're gonna equip your sword, or? Uh, yeah, I guess. Maybe you only get sword this early. Cause yeah. it, isn't this usually where you just get the weapon rack? I don't know. Oh, whatever. And it'll click. So what's nice is they've got all the cool tabs. Let's see. Things you can eat. Things you can use to make things. Well, in this case, to eat. A lot of people are growing Kaji, it looks like. Yeah. <clears throat> but I can't blame them. Because everybody wants to be a cat. Because cats are the only one that knows where it's at. And you can block. And then when they're stunned, if you do a big attack... Oh, I, I waited a little bit too long. But while they're stunned, if you do a big attack on them, they fall down. Hmm. So, yeah, I guess you should have picked up your other weapons in that last room. Maybe it's because you're Imperial. Imperials only use swords. This is the Imperial I way. I I mean, I know they have a couple of uh, slightly hidden chests over in the next sections that I can grab. Secrets, people. Secrets here on game days. Well, they're not hidden, hidden. They're just out of the way. You got a level. Yeah, let's do that really quick. Okay, so at one point, everything's... My health is higher. But you're a sorcerer. Yeah. I'm, right now, I really want to add to stamina, though. Why? Uh, it helps with blocking and dodging. Mmm. So I've used this one with a character before. It's pretty cool. Ooh, summoning. Summoning? You want me to summon stuff? I like summoning. Okay. Let's do that. You've never done that. 
No, I actually have never done it. All right. New experiences. I just get. What are you? Where are you going? Uh, just double checking. It's not. It's not mapped the way I usually have these mapped. Oh, she's like a Viking. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna really skip tall. through this because I've heard this a lot. Summon something. Okay. Let's see. Number one. There we go. Yeah. We got an imp. It's purple. That was a little Anyways, I was starting to say something about Morrowind. I've noticed that a lot of the stuff in this game that shows up in certain sections looks like just like Morrowind. Mm. And a lot of this, like, the, the decor in here is featured in a bunch of the earlier games. And it's really cool that they kept that all the way through. Okay. Okay, so now we got actual other players in here. Alright. Well, we're gonna go try to find one of these chests in order to get a staff of some type. They're usually tucked around the edges here. You just kind of run around along the edges to find them. Uh, summon your imp. Your Daedric summoning was increased. Okay, so now we got a staff. We just picked one off that body. Oh, no, a mace. There's some of them that look the same. It was a precise mace, though. It's true. Whatever that means. I'm not exactly sure. I've never used a mace. Oh, I think it's just a weapon property. Okay. Alright, well, we're gonna... Like you could probably have a precise staff or something like that. Running around at this. Oh. <laughs> so my shortcut's been closed off. Oh. They realized you were using it and they closed it off because they didn't want you to. Mm, probably. It was probably just they decided to move something or add a little bit more or something. Uh, oh, you're, you're way too zoomed in. That, okay, there's a chest. There, yeah, I'm looking for these. Ooh. Oh, you can get armor! Why didn't you tell me about this? <laughs> I mentioned them. Okay, so this is medium. I'm not too picky. I mean, right now, it's just anything is better than running around and just cloth. Unless you want to run around in cloth. I actually have seen some people that are like level 8 and they're still wearing the beginner's clothing. Well, as I mentioned last time, they are pretty stingy in the armor thing. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to help, but if you have a petty soul gem and somebody's down like that, you can revive them. How, how do they die in the beginner section? Uh, quite easily, actually. Like, I might, if I don't get out of this situation. Yeah, you, you aggroed somebody. You should summon your pet. Alright. Oh. See. That's one thing I really don't like is even if you dodge. Hey, there's durability. Yeah. Well, even if you dodge, enemies will always hit you. Right. That's pretty actually standard in MMOs. It's just it's not Elder Scrolls. If you dodge, you dodge. Like you can weave back and forth and dodge archers. You can wait till they shoot and you can dodge out of the way. In this game, you cannot do that. Which that bugs me because that's how I play Elder Scrolls. Right, but at the same time, it invalidates like mages and stuff like that in a way. And if you can just dodge and move around and then... Well, it means mages always hit you. Right. It makes them way more powerful than they logically should be for... Well, mages are oh, always... Somebody else knows about these. And no staff for you. Well, anyway, let's speak through this. People yeah, okay. have seen most of this already. Most enemies drop one gold. Like, even outside of this? 
Yeah, most enemies drop one, maybe two, if they're like a big guy. So gold is, yeah, you are really encouraged to sell items or complete quests in order to get gold. At this point, I'm not sure what your pet does. Um, at this point, it's mostly a distraction. Really? Yeah. Really? I think so. I mean, it... Oh, they put in the new update. Okay, so this is what the eye looked like the last time I went through, and then when Daniel played, I was confused because it looked weird to me. It looked like an eye. Yeah, it looked like an eye. I like this one a lot better. Okay. Are you running faster? Yeah, I'm uh, sprinting. You hold down... It looks faster than my sprinting, though. Some... If you have higher stamina, you can actually sprint faster. Oh, maybe that's what it was. You are an Imperial. Well, I added a point to stamina. Only... Only those who pre-ordered the game get to be one of yous. And uh, please don't use my character's name, because I prefer being myself. Come on. Oh, my familiar's down there. Oh, he's killing things. Oh, oh, that might be your staff. <sighs> Fine. Ah, wrong button. Or gold. Maybe with that gold you can buy a staff. Hmm. Join us uh, next time on Game Days. We will finish this introduction um, that most of you didn't actually get to see last time. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and throw in your penny into the Get Andrew Drunk and Playing the Game fund. By, by subscribing. By subscribing. He really, really, really wants to get drunk. Please help him. Bye. Bye.